Hey everybody, it's Howard, and this is Adder's Retirement Corner. Well, I wasn't going to do a video today, but I started suddenly getting a lot of comments and emails about Sarasota Tim. And, you know, he's done it again, he's embarrassed himself again. You know, is there any point in me doing these videos anymore? And, you know, if Sarasota Tim is watching, maybe. If, if the people who watch him tune in, I guess that's more the audience I'm trying to get to. But again, if Sarasota Tim is there, or if you want to get a message to Sarasota Tim because he blocks me and everyone else, um, come on my site when I'm done here today on this video, go in the comments. If you want to debate me, if you want to give your, your argument again, if you want to have some back and forth, and if you really believe the things you're saying are correct and true, you shouldn't be afraid. Come and talk to me about it. I will be 100% fair and honest, all right? So let's talk about some of the things he talks about again today. And he, he may just be doing this because he knows it riles up his people and he gets a lot more views and he knows he's wrong or he believes, I don't know, I, I, I don't know. All I can do is respond to what he's put out there. So first, his meme is always retire at 62 and start social security. And excuse me if I sound a little nasally, I've got a little cold thing going on. Um, so again, 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 the time you retire and the time you start Social Security do not have to be the same. If you want to start Social Security at 62, fine. But it doesn't mean you have to retire at 62. You're going to retire at 48 or 50 or 58 and start Social Security at 62. If you want to retire at 62, fine. But you don't have to start Social Security then. You can start at 63 or 65 or 67 or 69 or whenever. Right? They do not have to be the same. The only reason Tim says that is because he didn't save any money and he assumes nobody else has saved money. His whole thesis is based upon the fact that no money was saved for retirement and you have to use Social Security and a side gig. All right? So, you know, the fact that he doesn't talk about saving money suggests to me that he didn't save money, but I don't know that 100% for sure. Um, and again, working so, uh, getting Social Security 62 and working part-time is not retirement. You're just working fewer hours than you're used to and making a lot less money. If 20 or 30 hours a week is preferable to you for half the money you are making at 40 hours a week, do it. You know, I'm, and, and, and here's another thing. I'm not criticizing any of Tim's other videos outside of Social Security and Medicare. All the other videos he does, this is my truck, this is my uh, RV, this is my mobile home, you know, whatever those things are. Fine. If you want to watch those, fine. I'm going to Walmart. Watch me shop. Fine. I'm, I'm interviewing people in Walmart. Fine. You know, if you like those, great. I'm not criticizing those. If you enjoy his lifestyle and you enjoy watching those and he's personable and friendly to you, fine. Watch it. The one thing I don't understand is why anyone would take financial advice from a guy who retired at 62, took a meager amount of Social Security, worked 20, 30 hours a week, whatever it was, lived in a 16-foot mobile home, did his laundry at a strip mall. Why you would take financial advice, a, a guy who never saved any money? Why? <laughs> you know, he looks like he's enjoying himself, right? Okay, well, there you go. Anyway, so let's move on. Um, he, he's talking about, and, and he gets this a little confused, um, you, you don't get 30% more money at 67 than 62 for Social Security. If you take Social Security at 62, you get 30% less than if you start at 67. If you look at the difference between 62 and 67, though, it's a 43% difference from 62 to 67. And it's the way the math works, and Tim does not, this is clear, Tim does not understand math. Tim has the math understanding of a, maybe a second or third grader. I don't know how much school he went through, but he doesn't understand any math that's clear, all right? 
Um, glad to debate anybody who wants to defend him on that. Um, so, so here's, you know, he talks about, I get 17, he talks about age 62 and he gets 1700. What he fails to mention is he was actually, and he said this before in the past, he, he got 1500 a month at age 62, not 1700. He's at six, age 65 now and he's getting 1700. Okay. So if you, if you take $1,700 a month, oh Lordy, <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have uh, had that open. If you take $1,700 a month and you divide that by 0.7, which is how you do this math, okay, you come to $24.29 a month. So if your age 62 benefit is $1,700 a month, your age 67 benefit is $24.29, okay? So if you multiply $24.29 by 0.7, you get 1700 okay this is this is the actual way you do the math to figure out if your social security benefit is 1700 at age 62 this is what it would have been at 67 social security administration should be showing you that on your uh, form if you if you go to their site and get it okay so this number is 43 percent higher than that number all right if you multiply this by 1.43 you get 2429 that's the real math now, Tim does this without colas, and it's a benefit to Tim because the break-even takes longer without colas than with colas, because the colas and dollar amounts are always going to be more on this than this. Even if it's the same 3% or 3.5 or 3.8, whatever it is, the dollar amount is greater on the larger number. Again, simple math. Okay, now, um, and here's... <laughs> Here's the main problem with his whole scenario, is he continues to insist life expectancy for a male is 73. And again, you know, for the umpteenth time, I don't know how many times I have to repeat this, and he's heard this and he's denied it, so I don't know if he thinks it's wrong or he knows if he accepts it and says it's right, it blows up his whole, his whole thesis. Life expectancy is 73 when you're born. The older you get, the more years you're going to live, okay? So at age 62 for a male, you're going to live, your cohort, your group of people 62 will live on average to 81. Half will die before, half will die after, on average, all right? For females, it's age 84. If you live to 67 when, you know, you're talking about taking your full retirement uh, age uh, benefit, Males will live, the cohort will live to age 83 on average, and women will live to age 85, okay? You know, this I'm going to die at 73 business is, is, you know, if you people are believing that, do some research, all right? Stop believing that. It is not true. You know, Tim is probably past being able to accept that, but people who watch him, please, Check it out. Don't believe me. Go online. Go to Social Security website. There's, there's many other actuarials out there who will tell you the exact same thing. Ask your insurance agent. They know, they know better than anybody else. Um, all right. So, so then he's talking about, okay, nobody can live on $1,700 a month. Or he uses $2,450 because he doesn't know the math. Um, he, he tries to back in on trial and error. Um, so he says he can't even live on that. So... You know, then he talks about, okay, you have to go out and make another $1,700 a month. And, you know, that's not hard. That's simple. Even if you work at Target. Well, <laughs> you know, I'm, I, I did some quick math on that. And, uh, you know, Target pays, depending upon where you are, roughly $10, $11 an hour. I did $12 an hour. If you want to earn $1,700 a month working at Target, you're going to work 33 hours a week. So your idea is quitting your job where you're making $60,000 to go to Target and make uh, $12 an hour for 33 hours a week to make $1,700 a month, go for it. <laughs> How cool for you. Um, again, if you're listening to this advice and you're taking it and believing it, it's silly. It's silly. It's just silly. All right. It's a name. All right. So I'm going to give you a quick lesson on break-even analysis because, again, Tim doesn't understand how to do this. And what you do is you take the, you know, the two amounts, 
We have 1700 and we have 2429. So how long do I have to take this benefit before it equals this benefit? All right. So the difference between these two numbers is $729 a month. Okay. And if you collect this benefit for five years from 62 to 67 or 60 months, and he actually got this one right, times 17,000, it's $102,000. All right, so this is how you do break-even analysis. You take this number and divide it by this number. So 102,000 over 729, use a calculator. I used a calculator. I could probably figure it out in my head. It would take a minute, but use a calculator. And you'll, the answer you get is 140, and that's months. I'll just write months. That's your break even. It'll take you 140 months to break even between these two numbers. So from age 67, you had 140 months, which is 11 years and 8 months. So your break even point is 78 years and 8 months. And again, this is without a COLA. If it's a COLA, depending upon the size of the COLA, and the size of your benefit, you know, that, that could be 78 years, 77 and a half years, something like that. All right, so this is how you do break-even analysis, Tim. This is how you do it. And for all you other, you know, if, if you don't know it, that's fine. Tim pretends he knows it, and that's what's not fine. All right, so 78 years and eight months of your break-even analysis. And as we talked before, if you get to 67, when you're going to start your benefit, as a woman, you'll probably live on average to 85 and men on average would live to 83. So it's a lot longer than this. The other thing Tim likes to conveniently forget time after time after time because it ruins his argument is if you're working from 62 to 67 and you're making $60,000 a year, that's another $300,000 you have. I mean, it's just, it's just ridiculous. So here's the other thing I'd, I'd like to point out. You know, he, he's got this $1,700 a month, and we're going to accept for the fact that he didn't make that at 62. We're going to say that you're getting that at 62, and you saved nothing. Well, what's the alternative? Let's say you worked from age 22 to 62 when you retired. How much would you have to save to be able to take out $1,700 a month? And at an 8% return, the answer is $24 a month. $24 a month. Now, is that a, 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 a latte at, I know, I'm going to Starbucks, but a latte at Starbucks is, you know, like five bucks a cup or something. <laughs> You've got your money right there. You save $2,400 a month at 8%. By the time you hit 62, you'll have $84,400. And then you can withdraw $1,700 a month and use up that $84,400, getting an 8% return at age 67. So... You know, retire at 62, use that money, and then get this money when you start your Social Security benefits at 67. I mean, that's how simply ridiculous this is. It's so easy to save just a little bit of money, take some responsibility for your own life and longevity, and earn a little money and save it. It's that simple. Don't be irresponsible. Save some money. Live below your means and save some money. And I understand there are people that can't. I understand that. Uh, uh, you know, there's circumstances where some people cannot do that. But most of the people who don't do it, don't do it because they don't live below their means. All right? It's a simple thing. All right. Uh, you know, his other meme is, you know, well, you know, when you get to 67, your body's going to be so broken down. What are you going to do with the money? <laughs> Well, you're still going to eat, you're still going to have medical needs. But, you know, the other thing I'd like to point out, and a lot of you have seen my video of my, my softball league, um, I'm going to a, a state tournament this weekend. There's going to be hundreds, hundreds, maybe up to 400 70 to 80-year-olds playing in that, in that tournament. There's going to be, you know, 60 to 65-year-olds and 65 to 70 and 50, you know, all ages over 50, but hundreds of people between 70 and 80. I've shown you the videos of people in the weekday league I play in. 
um, they, they go up into their 80s, you know. I don't know about you, Tim. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be 67 this month. I, I play softball. I play golf. I, I'm, I'm going to be in a, a, a senior games doing some running and jumping and, and softball throw. I'm going to be competing in, a, in events. And there's going to be hundreds of people there, some up to 100 years old, competing. People do that. People, not everybody breaks down. I have tons of injuries. I have arthritis throughout my body, and I go out and I play, and I've showed you those other guys, all right? Um, maybe you feel like you're going to break down because of your own health. That's your issue. Don't tell everybody else that's their issue. It's your issue. And, you know, again, like I say every time, if you want to retire at 62, have nothing saved, take your social security at 62 and work a side job, go ahead. I'm not telling you not to do that. I'm just telling you the reasoning for doing that is bad. All right. Especially Tim's reasoning. And, and finally, you know, his favorite saying is nobody promises you, is you tomorrow. Take your money now. Understand how risk works. All right. The risk is not that you will die young and leave money or activities on the table, things you won't do. That's not the risk. If you die young, you're not going to care. You'll be dead. The risk is you live to an old age, that you live to 85, that you live to 90 or more, and you have no money saved like Tim. Try living on $1,700 a month, adjusted for colas, when you're 80, 85. 90. All right. Good luck. Um, I, I don't wish that life on anybody. The risk is outliving your savings if you did save or living to an old age with a very low Social Security benefit. So again, I'm not saying work till 67. I'm not saying work till 70. I'm saying work until you have enough money saved so that you can retire comfortably whenever you take your Social Security. All right. Again, subscribe. I'm sorry I went so long. Um, subscribe. Please subscribe, like, share, comment. Um, I, and I welcome all of Sarasota Tim's viewers' comments, negative, mean, whatever they are. I want to have that conversation with you. I want to have it with Tim. So thanks a lot. I'll see you again. Bye.